That's for anybody that want to do the Hellcat Red Key on their RT392 scat packs, SRT392s, or probably even the base models, the GT. I'm not sure if it would work on those, but I'm pretty sure it probably, it probably would. You, know, you never know. Somebody could try it and let us know if that works. Oh, they go the airbag light. See, uh, I got the SRT pages, but my airbag light here don't come up because I freaking open it up and cover the light up so I don't have to look at it. All right, so let me go to Super Track Pack. As you can see, it shows that the red key is in use. Paddle shift is all that. Look at that. I wish I had that motor, but that's all right. I'll build a 5.7 to make the same horsepower. All right, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the Alpha Romero, the Alpha OBD. You're gonna need this in there to turn the uh, the red key on. You need a OBD link. MX Plus, so OBD scanner comes in handy. Along with this, this uh, I think this is like a hundred, hundred and some dollars, hundred and ten dollars maybe, off Amazon. I'll put the links up. And this app right here, I think like fifty bucks. Also, you're gonna need HP tuners in order to program the computer to do the different um throttle parameters. So it actually works. So it limits the uh, throttle response in the car. So it actually works like when you do the eco mode or if you do uh, the black key, it limits the power. Actually, if you look at my other videos, I actually showed you guys that. So first, plug this in. Get that in there, OBD. All right, here we go. And then that's it connects Bluetooth. So let's connect to this. And uh, OBD link. There we go. Connect. And then select car. Select Dodge. Uh, charger. And then go to uh, body computer, I think. Then find your years. It's 2017. Hit connect. All right. I'm gonna go right here. Hit check engine light. Oh no 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 no! My bad. I'm not checking that. Hit the little car. And select the procedures. But 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 but. Car configurations, that's what you want. Hit that. Then select options. I can search it up. You go uh you can set the performance pages, change the um the miles on the dash. If you do a dash swap and you want to correct your miles, you can do all that with this shit. So let's hit in red. There you go. Red key features. You'll want to enable that. I already did it on my car, so I'm not gonna do it again. Then next, I want to reprogram the computer. I want to go to click on the engine. Go to driver demand. Oh no, torque management. Is it torque management? Yeah, torque management. And then driver demand. And right here, you got the violet mode right here, and then you got the black key. And you want to edit these two. That way, you only have the full power with the red key. So you can see, let's uh, uh, limit them all the way down. And then the black key limited the power. So the trial can't open all the way. And you know what? For all the Dodges that's getting stolen, this is pretty much a good idea I had, right? You go to the, if you don't use your valet mode, you go to the valet mode and you would uh, zero this all out, right? That way, if you step on the, the pedal, won't nothing happen. 
and then when you go go to bed lock the car up go to the valet mode yes put in the code lock it that way if they try to steal your car they can't drive away because it'll be stuck in violet mode and the pedal won't work in violet mode that's one way to stop them right and even though I'm saying this on YouTube, probably giving them the ideas, they're not gonna be able to figure out what code you use. And always, after you put in the code, wipe the screen, that way they can't see your fingerprints. To try to figure out what the code was. Yep, pretty much, that's how you do that. I don't know, Alpha Romero, you could do a lot more stuff with it. Just like the uh, taser, besides I think line lock and all that extra stuff. Also, it's, this is a good this uh, alpha. It's a good diagnostic tool. Let's, let's go back, go back. You can check your check engine lights, and like you know, like the blend doors. If one of your blend doors ain't working, it you actually can do a blend door test with this. You can do injector tests. You could like pick the injector that you want. Let's say injector eight, and you can hit it, and it would shoot fuel out injector eight. So it's a good it's a good uh, diagnostic tool. You could do you could do a lot of stuff with this. But yeah, that's how we do that. Also, like if you guys I see a lot of people get the pedal commander, you don't need that shit. Go get HP tuner, get you a laptop, good laptop, and start tuning your own car, man. It's a lot of information out there that you can get on YouTube to uh, teach yourself how to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like the pedal characteristics right here. Already, already edited it here. And then I think the other one is doo -doo, right here. You will set these ranges. And then the ramp rate, that's how fast the, uh, the throttle opens. Simple. Yeah, you set those, and that's how come. Oh, you see my videos. My car is my, my trotter response is very touchy. So you can do all this stuff yourself, man. Just like when I install this screen. This is actually out of 2018. It's not how the 2017 screens look, but I liked it. The 2018s better than mine's, and then mine's was uh. It was ghosting, pushing all type of buttons, can't even play the radio, can't do shit. Half the time I come in the car and I freaking turn the radio off. Just, just, just disconnect the fuse because it's just pushing buttons, calling people. So I went and bought, I bought this screen for $500 off somebody. Put it in there, good to go. Alright, that's it.